Yeah. Okay. And click this and this. Okay. First, first of all, age is statistically significant, which suggests the if you look at the the t stat, which is the value divided by standard error, you would see that the the increase in age is correlated negatively. So the odds of uh, having an affair decline with age, and if I look at it here, um, it's 5% decline. So with, with an additional year, if you get one year older, the odds of having an affair are 5% lower than, uh, than usual. Uh, similarly, um, if you look at children here, uh, not a statistically significant coefficient, but it suggests that the odds of having an affair are 46% more likely for a married individual with kids than an individual without children. Again, this is significantly different from what we learned using the uh, linear regression model, which suggested that having children uh, would lower the number of affairs you would have. But it didn't say you would not have any affair. It would say you would have fewer affairs, which is uh, so, you know, a good compromise. But in the binary logic model, you get the um, the answer, the odds of having an affair increases by 46%. However, notice that the coefficient here is not statistically significant. Education is also not statistically significant. Gender is not statistically significant, uh, but suggests that males are 37% more likely to have an affair than females. Um, what is significant is rating, which suggests that the more uh, satisfied you are and happy in your marriage um, with every one additional score you know in, in, in rating and with additional rating in in, in, in your marriage you are 38 percent less likely to have an affair and as far as religiousness is concerned which is also statistically significant the T star is significant it suggests that you are 28% less likely to have an affair with an increase in religiousness. So all else being equal, those who are happily married and those who are religious are um, less likely to have an affair. All else being equal. And the coefficient for years married suggests that it's statistically significant. It suggests that uh, um, for an additional year in, in, in marriage, you are 9% more likely to have um, an affair, right? And um, so it turns out that um, there is some truth to being the, the longevity of marriage increases the odds of having an affair, which is pretty much stated here. So we checked the impact of uh, age. We checked the hypothesis of duration of marriage, the uh, hypothesis of children, uh, having males, the gender, and religiousness. Now, when I say hypothesis, we tested here if uh, an individual is uh, uh, male, that person is 37% more likely to have an affair. However, by looking at the coefficient here, we know that this is not a statistically significant coefficient. So we reject the hypothesis. Null uh, we, ex uh, we fail to reject the null hypothesis, right? And conclude that gender has no impact. We con conclude that education has no impact. We also conclude that children have no impact on, on the odds of having an affair. But what matters is how happy you are in your marriage. The happier you are, the less likely to have an affair, and so on and so forth. Now, I'm just going to repeat this and notice that I have this here, so I'm just going to recycle this. And instead of having this variable, bin, I just replace it by the different variable, mul. And this time I would have a multinomial logit. And, and I'm just going to change this to coefficient test mlm.2. It produces a more legible output and submit. Here we go. Now, see, zero is the base case, and we have two sets of coefficients. One set is for having an affair, and the other one is having at least two or more affairs, right? And you see that the um, significant coefficients are here, which are 
uh, you could tell from the stars. And having an affair versus not having an affair, in this case, in a multinomial logit, you see that having kids um, increases the odds of uh, having an affair by three. Okay, here. So do not look at these standard errors and z-values. Here, just look at the estimates. Now I have used the term exponential to exponentiated the standard errors and z-values as well, which is not the intent, but you know we live with it. Uh, the real values are here, standard errors and z-values. So we know that the only significant variable is children, and if you take the exponential of it, it comes out right here. In fact, having a child increases the odds of having an affair by 2.8 times. There are two the individuals with, um, with children are 2.8 times more likely to have an affair than those who do not have children, all else being equal. However, uh, the same variable suggests that there's very little impact on having um, two or more affairs with the number of children. The other statistically significant coefficient in the model is age which is not significant for having one affair, but it suggests that you are more likely to have two or more affairs, and the odds are um, you actually less likely. You, the odds are 6% lower with every additional increase in your age. Also um, significant is the, um, the last rating religiousness in years married, which suggests that you are um, sixteen percent more likely to have an affair um, for each additional year of your marriage uh, religiousness um, if you are very religious or increase in religiousness you are thirty um, and I said my apology let me read back um, number of years married you are sixteen one is sixteen percent more likely or seventeen percent more likely to have two or more affairs um, uh, for each additional year in marriage uh, one is likely to have um, um, one is likely to be 38% less likely to have two or more affairs um, for increase in religiosity. And um, happiness in marriage is very uh, instrumental. You are 45% less likely to have two or more affairs if you are happily married. Okay. So what is our conclusion? Our conclusion is that we do not know the exact relationship between having kids and um, affairs. It appears that it's a mixed bag. You can get different results with different uh, modeling uh, assumptions. Secondly, uh, having uh, um, education and age do not really look like influential, but what is really influential is your happiness. If one is very happy in the marriage, one is less likely to have an affair or, or have multiple affairs in this case. And definitely religiousness surprisingly has an impact. One is uh, likely to have fewer or no affair.